Creating realistic virtual models of archaeological sites is an expensive business. Laser scanners can capture textures in detail, but the equipment is very costly, and there's lots of time-consuming manual work involved. Now a team at Manchester University has come up with a solution that seems almost too easy. What we've developed is a technique that uses simple photography um, to take uh, a sequence of two images, one with flash and one without, and then combines them to create an albedo or reflectance map and a height field or, or depth map, together which you can use to render um, from any angle under any lighting. And what makes the technique unique is that we have per depth information per pixel with no gaps or, or errors in the data. In a picture taken with diffuse lighting, recessed features appear darker because they receive less light. Any bumps protruding from the surface are more illuminated. Lighter colors also appear brighter than deeper ones, but a second photo taken with a flash gives a true representation of color. By combining the information in both photos, it's possible to estimate the depth of a texture. Currently in games, people actually have to manually generate depth information by hand in order to be able to like, add that depth information into the surfaces they're trying to render. With our technique, the, um, the depth estimation is, pretty, uh, is, al uh, is al almost automatic. The method has already been snapped up by a project called Maya Skies that's creating a dome-projected movie featuring ancient Mayan temples. But the researchers admit that there are still improvements to be made. For example, if you have a brick wall and you have, say, something like vines growing up the brick wall, then that can be problematic because the vines aren't actually attached to the surface. Uh, with our technique, because we're extracting a height field, we can't represent the two separate distinct bits of geometry. But tests have shown that with less complex surfaces, most people can't tell the difference between images created using the new method and those produced from laser scans. So this shortcut seems to be a convincing alternative. We don't get the same level of accuracy in the geometry that you'd get using other methods, but we've proven using our experimental study that that doesn't actually really matter in terms of the results.